Heavenly Father, through Jesus you have extended grace to us. Help us to comprehend your grace more and more in our lives. Grant us an increase of grace each day so that we can respond to your love by loving others. Amen. Blessed Mother began, Claire, I am here. I am always here. Remember, there is a part of me that is always present to you. Mother, I don't know how you do that. Mother Mary continued, Grace, very simply, the working of grace. Grace manifests in so many different ways. Whatever is needed, grace manifests. This is due to the living power of God. It is alive and constantly being used to bring forth the kingdom and defend the defenseless. It is the living, breathing manifestation of God's immutable power. It is there for those who call on the Lord. Grace permeates the air, but it is given in a very special way to his children when they are in need. It is so very important that you all rely on grace and not your own resources, which are so very limited. Put the demand upon grace, simply asking God to impart to you all that you need to complete something. Like you right now, you really need grace, but do not consciously call upon it in times of need until you hit a brick wall. You could go so much further if you did call upon it beforehand. Simply pray, Father, I need your help here. Please assist me with your grace. And then watch what happens. I promise you that you could get so much further faster if you would approach everything as a pauper, calling upon his grace, even those things that you feel you already have the skill sets to do. My children, you are nothing without grace. Either the grace given at your birth or the grace is acquired by faithfulness to the will of God. Once you have acquired it, then it is good that you give all the credit to the Lord. Remember, you are but the vessel. He could have chosen others, but he chose you, so be faithful to what he has given to you. There is much to do in this world, and those who make full use of this grace excel at what they do. The question is, will you avail yourselves of this grace, or will you act on your own, feeling confident that you can do this, whatever it might be? If you keep your heart and mind on Jesus, you will more often call upon him to get something done that is beyond your skill level. He exults in working with others in a partnership. Beloved Claire, my very little one, when are you going to open your eyes to see him? He has been with you all along, but you have shied away and have not pierced the veil to see him. He is beside you right now, even as we speak, waiting for you to truly grasp his holy hand and look into his eyes without shame or fear. What you imagine to be blocking you is not the case. Rather, it is your reticence that is blocking you. You can do away with this attitude so very easily by reaching out and stop imagining that he is not with you. He is, child. It is so hard for me to stay awake. You are under a tremendous oppression. How do I get rid of this, mother? You don't. It is a suffering. It will pass. And I say this to all my children. Carry your sufferings and trials with dignity as they release graces for other souls. Your struggles are temporary and they will pass soon enough. 